What is going on, my Tana Maniacs and my Circus Freaks? This is Itano Circus, and I am joined right now by your boy Brexit. Brexit, tell everybody what is going on. Hey guys, welcome to this really, really exciting crew battle coming up, Germany versus UK. Uh, my name's Brexit. Uh, please don't judge the name. I apologize for the silly tag, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll just cope with it for now. And um, I'm really looking forward to this, Itano Circus. We don't know each other, but uh, I hope to get to know you during this commentary slot. Oh, we're about to get we're about to get to know each other quite well because we're about to have <laughs> Germany versus the UK, and um, this is this is uh, this is in anything that both of these nations take part in. This is always a great matchup. Yeah. So the the Germany versus UK matchup is OP, whatever sport or esport <laughs> you're taking part in. So <laughs> and, and we're going to be talking about the matches that we've got coming up for everybody. I'm not too sure who the who the first players that both teams are going to send out is going to be, but yeah. um, but we can be sure that there's a lot of top talent to choose from holy so, moly Brexit... the, 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 t the 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 german team is out of control they've got all of their best players and all of them are crazy good not just on a german level but on a european level like beware oh yeah seed number seed number one if i'm not mistaken right. um so if you take a look at the german team mm -hmm. we've got we've got rhino quick light robin gg longo Dark Thunder of of all players as well, like Dark Thunder with that deadly Bowser, um, Sive, another veteran, Lucky Takeo and Snormander, Snormander who I've seen in a, in more than one online tournament, I feel uh, doing absolute numbers recently. Snormander and Takeo as well, I've seen them both do very very well in Wi-Fi tournaments. So beware. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be, be, beware because like speaking of wi-fi tournament speaking of wi-fi like not taking things away from the german team too quickly we all we all know who we all know who we've got to who the uk have to overcome in this match right mm. now um we we all know that uh, that's a mountain to climb but if we're in wi-fi land <laughs> where, take a look take a look take a look at the right hand side of your screen ladies right. and gentlemen like this is the wi-fi nation right here welcome <laughs> to the uk welcome to the uk you've got nades you've got deon you've got jackster curry g sbf bloom forever rise that rambos lucretio sorry my mistake top player lucretio <laughs> moak and number one alpha so we are here laying our claim to the title of Wi-Fi Nation right now, but you've got to, I, you've got to, you've got to explain to me uh, who is Quick and why is he about to lose the ditto to Rambos? Oh, okay, Whew. okay, we've got a lot to unpack there. Quick is <laughs> uh, number two in Europe, and um, sure, I've heard that this Rambos guy is good, but Quick is practicing Wi-Fi on his stream all the time, so. He's got this in the bag, and he is well versed in every matchup. So we're not even going to talk about how quick is going to take a million stocks in this. But uh, like, if you look at the German PR, like everyone here is on it. I think uh, might be some of those Wi-Fi, maybe not so much. But Light is out of control as well. His Palatina, incredible. Reno, he's not only like he's he's also like the huge community figure. And... Light's, uh, Light's fifth at Syndicate this year, right? Was it fifth? Yeah, was yes. it fifth? Very high, top eight. Yeah, super good. And Robin GG, oh God, I just I'm such a fanboy of Robin GG. I, I admit I'm a Peach player too. I but, guess that. Uh, he is so clean. Hold up, hold up, so hold up. Arena amazing. just shut down. Yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah, we can no. Still, we can we, we doesn't matter. Doesn't matter about as long as we're still live. I want to talk about the importance of LAN adapters. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can we talk about the importance of LAN adapters? If that wasn't just a timeout because we hadn't done it. Uh, because we uh, because we haven't started a game yet, uh, I apologise to all you Wi-Fi players out there. But get a LAN adapter if you don't have one. Save up your pocket money. <laughs> LAN adapter is the future. Uh, resist playing melee rollback. Just buy a LAN adapter for now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we promise, guys. Melee rollback's not that good. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to believe me. Keep playing Smash Ultimate, please. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. But anyway, you were saying big, big. I guess that you were a peach main by the way that you talk about Robin GG. Yeah, <laughs> I can't help it. I'm just such a fan. <laughs> yeah, oh, I've seen yeah. Robin GG do nasty things to individuals. Yes, yeah, and he's really good on Wi-Fi, which is saying something because uh, um, Peach is kind of difficult on Wi-Fi. Reacting to because uh, during a Peach combo, you have to react to what they're doing, and that's really tough. And he does it anyway. Um, so hats off to him. 
so broken execution on why on broken yeah. execution in high pressure situations because let's face it here the pressure is not coming from the removal of funds from your opponents via a money match or the removement removal of of individual tournament tournament places via a uh what, via you're say, a, national pride or what yes exactly <laughs> thank you for correct for completing that sentence for me i know i've sort of lost track of where i was going the um, <laughs> the 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 pressure in this situation is coming from national pride mm -hmm. and we are listen where i think the uk very much in this situation we're the ones with everything to prove in this uh, we're we're the fourth seed coming up against for the sure. first seed mm -hmm. and but don't, don't don't you worry about this we've been waiting to break through for a long time yeah uh, i can see it happening but germany's obviously got it in the bag i mean you can't beat that top talent. I, I've heard some names. I'm certain. By the way, side note: UK has excellent tag names. I love. I love Curry Governor. Excellent tag. <laughs> yeah. Uh, top player Lucretio. I love that. I mean, we haven't got those kinds of names. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got. Trust me. This is this is the uh, safe for work edition of most of these. <laughs> of most of most of these tags. There yeah. are some. There are some tags in the UK that we get. We we keep hidden in the back. We don't let them come out to majors. Uh, anybody in the chat who who can finish the sentence, legend of, um, anybody who uh, who knows the the online Twitter handle that begins with that ends with master. Like we've got some really degenerate tags in the UK. Okay, <laughs> so, I don't know any more about that? <laughs> yeah, but we've got a uh, we've got um, players on our side who outside of the uk you may not know about um yet uh people need to know about nades i say this as a member of the toon link uk toon link discord uh, people need to know about him right there people need to know about moke and not enough players i feel like know about moke because they didn't go to syndicate and see him prove that he's the best banjo in europe mm -hmm. um Pe everybody knows about Lucrecio because people want to learn how to execute things and they follow his guides um and also his his he is he is a character Jaxter very strong Falco main Ex yeah. uh, extremely strong he's one of the players who was a you could describe it best at mid level in Smash 4 but in the transition to ultimate just became a monster and we are starting off with l what looks like lights versus Light curry governor Cheers for uh, cheers for helping the commentators out with your tags, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, slight de percent deficit in favor of Curry G. Mm -hmm. Got, got light pinned at the ledge. Light takes the hit, but manages to get back to center stage. But that doesn't last very long. And Curry G has limit already. Needs to watch that tech roll situation. Curry G is like pushing his lead a lot, a lot of pressure, a lot of scary moments already, and a very fast paced game already. Yeah. Ooh, and a blade beam at the top. That sets the uh, that sets the bar so early. Ooh, read the roll. That's read the, he read the roll and he died with, at eighty six percent. I think after him. Yeah. That was, that, was uh... that was insane. Curry G now needs to make this back because Palatina could be very difficult to kill. Absolutely. Uh, Not because is... of uh... Sorry, getting carry a getting early kill first dog is scary for mentality reasons. Yes. And with Palutena, a character against Palutena, a character who racks up damage so effectively and so quickly, if you let her start and start to build some momentum, mm. that just just goes to show how much one read can get you in certain matchups. And that's not even getting to the the extent that Palutena can edge guard Cloud in this matchup. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, there's still a lot of aggressive play from both, but uh, uh, Cloud is not afraid to go in. He can't re the ledge, and yeah, there comes uh, the down air. <laughs> at a healthy 160% or whatever it was, yeah. but, you know, we take those. So, the way Curry G did that so effectively, limiting the number of options that Light had to recover with, forced him to re grab the ledge and then just had a hitbox waiting for where he would inevitably be. Light not quite reacting to the fact that he was below the lip. Just before um, Cloud uh, down tilted underneath the, uh, the Palatina neutral beat, looked very stylish. Oh, yes. Uh, looking like something out of the Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, oh, dangerous. Not gonna get the kill. Not gonna get the kill. Almost did. Needs to be careful. Curry G going for a very hopeful read right there. But then again, so did Light. But that was not too committal. I, I see exactly why Light would have gone for that. Mm. Oh, he was just lying there on that platform. 
Oh, he goes for the ledge trump. Gets the ledge trump himself, however, not a great spot for Curry G to be in. Ooh, okay, now now he's <laughs> holding back. That's that's quite big for Palatina. Oh, the forward is gonna take it. That is one stock ahead of Germany already. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. He caught light over committing, but then got caught over committing himself to that blade beam. Curry G does funny. like to use that to rack up the center. Yeah, it was a funny exchange of uh, projectiles just then. So one thing I am noticing, and one thing that Light's going to need to be careful of, is how um, Curry G starts conditioning off in the match by going to high double jump limit blade beam when Light is off stage. At one point, Curry can mix that up when Light is expecting the exact opposite. So for and example, for a two frame or something, right? Exactly. When low recovery. Mm. Yep. If you notice now, his last two blade beam attempts have been low while grounded. So uh -huh. now, so the, the the meta wheel is churning. Okay, this wheel. is tense. This is last stock already, so it's pretty even. Germany oh, yeah, UK, pretty even. Oh no, he's gone caught up high, and that is exactly what he didn't want to happen. There are a few of those that have gone that have gone uh, lights way earlier on. I wonder if wondered if Curry would adapt, but I think he hit him with three of them in the mm. match, and that's all he really needed. God, so Germany take the first game. That means that they are one stock ahead. And Light is going to try and take off some more stocks in the next round already. And what are we going to get next? There's no guarantee. Don't forget, there's absolutely no guarantee that that stock is going to come off immediately. What am I saying? That stock is not going to last long, especially yeah. if we oh. send in such a... We can, we can, if, we, if, we, if there's a problem... We just send in the zoners. I said it before against Spain, and I'll say it against Germany. <laughs> send them in, wave after wave of well, projectiles. Maybe, you uh, can't react all day. Uh, banjo, you've got a lot of them, right? <laughs> oh yeah, we've got we've got a, we've got one of the best tune links in Europe. We've got mm -hmm. we've got banjo. We've got the best me gunner in Europe as well. I'm pumped to see me gunner. I admit I've never seen Dion play. Uh, it sounds quite fun. Oh, send yes, that's right, chat. Send them in when there's when there's a problem. You you got to wear that. You can wear that problem down. Um, the the um the the me gunner belonging to Dion is one of the most toxic things uh, <laughs> you can you can imagine. So this is a very common occurrence at okay. any EU Smash major before the before the second day when top thirty two is going to start. Mm -hmm. You can you can see top players from Europe running around looking for Dion. Going, has anybody seen Dion? I've got a gunner in my bra in my bracket path, and I need oh, to practice. No <laughs> has anybody seen Dion? Has any and Dion like has a queue of people like getting getting practice. The moment the tournament ends and it's friendlies o'clock, nobody like <laughs> <laughs> like Dion. Dion sat there at the setup, just like, yo, who wants a game? <laughs> like, I'm that there's other me gunner players. Oh, there, yeah. Um, I believe um, Big Lord from Portugal is a very strong me gunner. Ha oh. Has been in the past, I think. Um, the, um, but yeah, the, the character does crop up, and it's very difficult to deal with uh, because there are some, there are, there are just some. It's, he's one of those characters that you just have to know about certain things, and if you yeah. don't know about those things, you lose. Yeah, totally. Uh, there's a whole. There's like twenty characters which are just so matchup specific stuff like if you don't know how to battle a piranha plant then you're you're lost it's, it's the yep. same for quite a lot of characters and me gunner is no different oh abs absolutely couldn't have said it better myself <laughs> that being that being said can we flick back to the uh to the team name sheet as well i want to see if we've got that indicator and we know who's coming in next did we did somebody say dion's coming in i would love it oh we're gonna find out oh! yes it is dion <laughs> oh by the way uh brexit i'm gonna need you to check out dion's me Oh, oh, man, playing a me character is such a blessing because you actually get to play with these all these crazy costumes. That's so nice. I love it. Yeah. Isn't it? it must be, it must keep Nintendo happy as well because it just shows all the all of the stuff they talk about in directs that aren't characters also get used. Do you reckon Dion is, uh, actually buys all of the, the DLC um, <laughs> me gunner yeah. costumes? Absolutely. I've I've seen some you know those top eight graphics. Yeah. I've seen some delightful ones because <laughs> Dion attended the tournament. Like he 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 builds he builds some of the the nastiest memes. Nice. <laughs> I just saw that he's got this secret shot um, side B. 
That is the stealth bomber. Um, it is. I thought that wasn't so good. Forgive my ignorance. I thought like there were better SIDs. Oh no! It's uh, in in my opinion and in Dion's opinion as well. It is definitely the strongest uh, side B. It, it's so impossible to spot. And the further it travels, the more knockback it does. Yeah. It does insane. It does insane knockback. And when in the heat of the moment, your opponent just can't see it. See, light oh. just got hit by it again. It's almost impossible to react to by the time you've seen it. And Dion holding center stage right now. This, these are the situations that you need to be aware of. Well, I can bring it back. I don't think he. he I mean, he's. he's oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, what did I tell you? Like, the the stream that myself and Brexit are watching. Uh, is a is a tiny bit pixelated compared to the the very high quality yeah. one you guys are seeing on um on uh Twitch. However, like myself and Brexit could not see that projectile. No way. And, yeah. and and it by the looks of it, light couldn't either. <laughs> that was brutal. I mean, yep. oof. I take it all back what I said about the stealth attack because that was so hard to spot. And you're so right. It's about the heat of the moment. Yeah, and Ooh. while Light, it would seem, refused to respect the fact that Dion can be letting that move rip at any time, and yeah. essentially caught, got caught with what he caught Curry G with. So if you notice, Curry G and Light had an exchange during their match where they sort of exchanged an explosive flame and a blade beam. Yeah. That stealth bomber doesn't interact with any projectiles until, right. it, until you let it go. Has and it got like Zelda side B vibes? Yeah, it just it it's just a hitbox when you choose to let the button go. Okay. So it doesn't clank with anything, and Light seemed to refuse to respect that. And because of that, we're back to even Stevens. Game number three, even stocks. I can just picture the German call right now. They're like, which one of us could be the gunner <laughs> the most? <laughs> if there if that is a group of if that's a group of nine players, I do not envy right now. It's the German <laughs> squad. I'm just saying, one of you's got to come in. <laughs> Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Yeah. Uh, so which one of these characters has a reflector? Which? <laughs> oh, you um, you, you, can't re you can't reflect that side B. You can't. <laughs> you can. I think you become you become intangible to it if you reflect yeah. it. However, it it doesn't go back to Dion. Yeah. You've 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 just got to hold it. Yeah. Um. You've got uh, so light had a reflect. Didn't didn't really do much. Um. Mm -hmm. Robin GG could use use the counter to gain ground slowly. You've I got lot. Toad is Toad ain't great. <laughs> yeah. Um, Snormander. Snormander. That's my Sn that's my guess. Uh, so Snormander can gain ground on Dion while taking slightly minimized damage by using that side B. Yeah. Uh, this is one of those. This is one of those matchups that you've just got to have a strategy for as a team. Yeah, mate. I I wouldn't know where to begin, and I'm fascinated to find out. But I think oh, I tell you what, quick, Samus is really good against other zoners. I this think, is true. Um, I think this might be an option. This is true. If you, but then again, if you want to send in your PR number one, you want to send in your PR number one to deal with a problem this early. That is a big investment. I mean, from what I've seen, Dion seems to be quite the problem. Yeah, you are absolutely right. Dion is a problem. That Dion, if, there, if there's one thing you could describe Dion as, it's a problem. Um, <laughs> or Dion. I don't know the guy, but oof. I know who I wouldn't send in, and that's Dark Thunder. And I'm not saying that because of. I'm not saying that because I don't think Dark Thunder is a top play, top tier player in Europe, Match and up. would do very would probably do a lot of damage if placed sent in against any of our other players. Mm -hmm. um, however, that matchup is just horrible. Well, let me tell you, and that, those are wa I would call those wasted stocks. Uh, Dark Thunder wins tournaments with solo Bowser. That means he beats every other character with Bowser. He is unafraid. He could do it. Do you, as you're the captain of the German team right now, do you invest? Do you invest your your what perhaps one of your most explosive stock takers in against a player that wants to slow the pace of the game down? Because that's what we're going to do. That's what we do here in the UK. We will grind you out. We're not scared to time you out. We will time out a crew battle if need be. Oh my god. <laughs> we're not scared of what people say about us. We want to win. This is why I left the UK and moved to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, all right, we're about to find out. It is Dark Thunder. Yo! <laughs> Yo, okay, okay, okay. 
Listen, Germany, I'm supposed to BM you right now, but you have my respect. You have my respect. He can you do saw it. The, like, you Dark saw the... out of control. You don't understand. Well. Let's go. He's, he's on final destination, and I don't think there's as much space to, to set up this falling uh, grenade attack or anything like this. It might be good for Bowser. <clears throat> so... I want to talk to you about what's going to happen when Dark Thunder gets Dion off stage, and that is going to be Dion sending neutral B towards the stage, and Dark Thunder like having to deal with that while while Dion up B's challenge free. Nah, Dion's just gonna throw out a forward air and and no, uh, um, oh, oh 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 okay. Any anybody but Dark Thunder on the squad, and right? That was death. Thank God we sent in Bowser, right? <laughs> Oh, Dion just wasn't ready to hit that up to hit that up air. Oh, the weight. Ah, uh, didn't, didn't, didn't. The weight. Speaking of the weight, there's the weight, and that is going to be the stock. Dion taking the first stock off of Dark Thunder. UK takes the lead. Oh my god. Okay, Dark Thunder is going to be searching for those uh, any of his attacks is not can kill. Oh, he calls out the jump. Dion gets the pivot grab. That looked like snapback to me. Okay. <laughs> a bit of cheeky damage on the ledge. Uh, Dark Thunder not making the same mistake Ooh, that made. Do it. He go. gets, oh, there. he got spiked by that. Mm -hmm. Could call out from Dark Thunder, but does he have what it takes to take this matchup? I feel like this is this is this is a move I respect, but it is one that I do not think is one. <laughs> you do not respect it. Let's be real. <laughs> oh, no, I, I very much respect this. Listen, Germany, <laughs> Germany, you guys, you guys are you guys are mad. <laughs> you guys Dark are Thunder absolute mad, absolute mad lads. It's, it's, uh, this is even. This is good. But this I don't is... think me Gunner is as susceptible to crazy Bowser stuff as any other character. Just the neutral is going to be a bit crazy. Yes. Uh, that may be the biggest understatement I hear all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got that. Got that up smash red. And Dion being able to react to it. And now he gets to sit up. Welcome to Dion Land. Mm. Population Dark Thunder. <laughs> oh, where are you going? Dion didn't even have to invest anything in that. He sat in the middle of the stage and pressed the B button. Oh my god. Dark Thunder went for a bit of a, a thirsty up smash and then straight into a thirsty down B. What's gonna happen now? Dark Thunder's fishing for that forward tilt at the ledge. Mm. <laughs> Not respecting stuff right there. Dion just gets to the other side of him. Parries oh, yeah. the up tilt and then counters with an up tilt of his own. This is dead even again. Germany, UK, neck and neck. 11 stops to 11. Mm -hmm. This is close. Oh, um, very I much. would consider this a victory. Uh, it's funny. Yeah, taking two stops of Dion. Oh, stops that down B in its mm -hmm. tracks. Oh, there's so many weapons. It's hard to see what's even going on. Now it's Dark Thunder's turn. He needs. He's got to make those hard reads as well. Whoa. That's what's going to be so hard for him. He's going to get hard punished for this. No, Dion doesn't go for the F smash. He goes for a grab. Chooses to put him towards the closest ledge where he can start this ledge trapping game. There goes the stealth bomber. Okay. Uh, uh, these stealth bombers are so scary. He's throwing out so many of them. And another. The thing about that is, I think Dark Thunder shielded that, but he'd eaten two projectiles on Dion's way back to the stage, so he couldn't shield the get up attack. Oof. <gasps> That's it, you were so right about the length. You know, that was really far away and that was why it killed. Put it, uh, allow me to put it, to, allow me to put it into perspective for you, Brexit. Like, you've got the, the difficulty to see and then you've got the reaction time once you do see it to get into shield or to stop performing whatever action it was you're performing or to stop dash dancing back and forth like yeah. you've got to be in a neutral state at all times against Dion's me gunner especially no. in this environment gosh yeah and i take it back what i said before about final destination he had no platform to jump to or anything you know he yes. was uh he was right in stealth bomber mode you know he couldn't avoid it oof 
so there's the so there there's the problem dark thunder i i germany you guys are, are like i said it before you guys are absolute mad lads like <laughs> i'm terrified of of your team he did I'm well. terrified he did super well no no I, I know he did do well but the the what went through the team's brain who i want to see a screenshot of the of the german crew battle team chat the private <laughs> team chat when they were picking who to send in there <laughs> i wanted to say i want to see what what the thought process was i reckon but it was all, just went fear, in. all dread oh god and then nobody volunteered themselves, and Dark Thunder, being the madman that he is, was like, "All right, let's do it." Yeah, yeah. Um, just to just to take it away from from uh, DJ and Land uh, to to talk about um, actually the things that Dark Thunder did well in that he was when he did have Dion at the ledge, he was going for every hard like every hard re in the book. Except right. for except for the obvious forward smash, because yeah. that's really what that's a player of Dion's level uh, doesn't fall for that so early. So he was going for the other things to call out the harder to punish options. So he knew that Dion probably wanted to jump from ledge, put projectiles in and about the stage. So the very first thing he did when he got Dion at ledge was get that Bowser bomb on deck yeah. and say, "Listen, I've got this up here. If you go for this again, you can lose another stock as early as that again." And later, he also got lots of fire breathers, fire breath at the ledge as well so like when once dion was at the ledge i feel like um uh, dark thunder did performed very well yeah absolutely uh, i see brad in the chat saying um uh their, their thought process was dark thunder slapped Taudi early on and uh that is a uh, that is something i did not see so thank you for the insight for my knowledge who is Taudi? is he also a me gonna player i think Taudi is um i think Taudi. Is Taudi Swedish? I'm not too sure. I don't. I'm gonna. The um could be, it could be just another Zona player, or it could be specifically a me gunner. All right. But then yeah, I haven't been able to uh, to catch all of the matches, so I'm not too mm -hmm. sure how how these players have proven they are against uh, certain styles. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, uh, the the German team need to choose who they're going to send in to to clean up this final stock of uh, of Dion's. Now, yeah. if you if you take a look at who we've who we've got to face off against against this me gunner, we've got uh, we've got Sives Diddy, somebody who can somebody who can break your zone quite effectively, uh -huh. but depends on that banana to be playing around. So uh, if that banana is getting eaten up by projectiles left, right, and center, that's a big uphill mountain to climb. Yeah. Just the, all you have to do is take that one stock. But if Dion gets one more stock, that's uh, it. Things start to look a bit bad for Germany. Oof. Well, I reckon it could be still Snormander. I think it would be a good choice. Uh, we also yes. haven't had the chance to talk about Lucky, who is a super good and super consistent pit player from from the north of Germany. Um, he is oh, he is regularly doing. Uh, I think he and Reno always come first and second at their locals consistently every week yeah, yeah i've so seen good. i've seen lucky before i've seen um is he the german pit player who releases uh who re who kind of regularly releases like uh some tasty twitter combos i think so yeah yeah he's uh, some spicy twitter clips he's definitely on his twitter game yeah I love the use of the word "spicy" to Me describe to, des to, des to describe that. some of those those crispy links that you can. Yeah, get. <laughs> it has to be related to food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there is a there is a there is a vicious me gunner waiting for waiting for them. Anyhow, we've mm. also got um, we've also got a there we go. We've got Snormander coming in. Oh, good. <laughs> going for the uh the the zone breaking ability yeah. of that of that of that cart and the ability to to fake like you're going in duck out and convince dion to commit to options mm -hmm. but uh, so snormander it the pressure's sort of on right there for germany to get this stock off just not play too committally okay so Snormanda is so good at this game, I can't get I can't get over it. And um, Bowser Jr. is such a wild matchup. You have to play, you have to have such respect for the side B and all of his crazy moves. And if you get up tilted or up head, that you that's it, you've you've just taken 60%. Yep. That's the thing. Oh, Dion with that trap right there. Up throw into up air. If you air dodge neutrally, you're going straight back into that mixer. Mm-hmm. Oh, he fell straight into a stealth. What is it called? Stealth shot? Stealth bomber? Stealth, 
Stealth Bomber. Stealth Bomber. So that is a thing you're going to see from Dion a lot. I know this through like having watched him for quite a while. Um, you're going to see him launch that neutral B, and then when he feels like he's losing neutral, he's just going to up B straight past you. And sometimes really? straight past the ledge, yeah. I've yeah, seen him Dion. with 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 you know, just crazy. Uh, just in neutral. And I was wondering all about you know, that. that. There you go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. While you're worrying about the projectile, Dion uses that distraction to be like, okay, I'm taking stage control now. And neutral begins again, if you can call this neutral. Earlier, Snormando did a crazy all on a thing approach with side B and it looked really cool. And I, but they're both, they're both zoning. <laughs> yep. And there goes Snormando not respecting the projectiles coming back from Dion. Oh. He does need to Ooh. respect that Mecha Cooper, however. Oh my goodness! That would have been a spicy combo. Nasty. Schnasty. Put the sh in front of it. Mm. Spicy. There we go. Migana, one of the zoners that doesn't have a particularly terrible grab, doesn't have a tether grab to, to, for, for you to, uh, to, to exploit, so he can put you into... I think there's something like plus... He's plus 10 if you shield that uh, neutral B. Right. Uh, so he can just run up to you and grab you if he launches it from a certain range and you decide to shield it. And there's another stealth bomber. Can't see it coming, can't react to it. GG's, this stock, that stock is off as well. That now, is Dion... <laughs> Yeah. Okay. All right, Snowmander's going to have to get this to get this now. Oh, he wanted the jab at the ledge, and I think Dion knew it. Jab at the ledge will have killed. That starts killing around like what, 100, 115 odd? Yeah, it's 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 crazy. Uh, I don't know about the stage, I'm not an expert on the stages, but maybe. maybe. He's, he's doing get, get up attack from the ledge and it's working. Oh, there we go. There we go, lots of active frames for that move to uh, to linger and to finally take a stop. But Team Germany is a stop down. Oof. UK is zoning their well into it, zoning their way into victory. <laughs> zoning, zoning our way into grands. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm, and I'll say it again: zoning our way into grands. The thing is, if you underestimate this amazing, can I just say it again? Amazing UK team, <laughs> and think that we're all think that we're all projectile spam. Don't worry about that. We've got, we do have Curry G. We do have Curry G and Jackster in there for you to get. If you want to, if you want somebody to grab you. And then you watch a Twitch, and then you watch a you watch a quick time event. We've got Jackster, we've got that Falco coming for mm -hmm. you. Um, so if uh, Jackster in against a in against a Bojo, I'm not too sure whether that is the best idea in this situation. However, I'm not. That is not nothing to do with the character. I think it's to do with the player um, in terms of. Uh, prevalent Bowser Juniors that we have in the UK. Right. The answer is the answer is I'm not too sure if Maggi is still playing him up north. Maggi was playing Wolf last time I checked. Uh -huh. um, so uh, by the way, I'm going to stop calling him Bojo because that's right. I was that's about sort of taking a uh, taking a different that. meaning. <laughs> what was that about? Uh, see, so he's, uh, he's, uh, it takes it's taken on a different meaning in, uh, yeah. in recent year. I think there's uh, a German player called Bojo, and we've been trying to you know make it a thing for us <laughs> and him to meet together in bracket. <laughs> Brexit and Bojo. Yeah, Brexit and Bojo. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking about things which can be construed as political rights now. Oh, um, I never do. <laughs> um, so, sitting in uh, the back... I'll say about finding someone who's good against Bowser Jr. Um, Snormanda is Wi-Fi king. So he is taking part in all of the German Wi-Fi things and also in the EU boot camp a lot, I think. So just throw out someone who is good at Wi-Fi, who is playing in these tournaments. They've probably played against Snormanda. Okay, so a player that we haven't seen so far, I'm hearing that it is going to be SBF. Uh, Wario Main from the north of England, currently residing at number five on the UK PR, on season one PR. Um, very strong Wario player. Switched to Wario from Pichu, but ever since the Switch has been doing bits with that character. Mm, cool. So, I've never heard of SDF, and I'm excited to see what he can bring to the table. So he's he's pretty he's pretty um, he's pretty surgical with the Wario combos. I I see him drop them very scarcely, and coming in, this is going to be the most explosive time for him because he has three stocks to garner that waft. Interesting, Wario in a crew battle is is yes. uh, that's important. Yes, going up against Snormander, who um, who basically 
you you can concede that you're playing this game with one stop. Right. Uh, you know, <laughs> normally, just, uh, Warrior starts off with a stop lead anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, but th then again, this only lasts until... So getting the first stop of Wario is very important mm. because that this advantage, the Wario factor, lasts while he has three stocks. Yeah, but then you just get Bowser Jr. combo to 77%. Yeah, no, but you got to take the stop first. Mm. <laughs> so, he is doing his best to get in. Okay. It, yeah, Warrior's being very aggressive. He, at Ooh. this point, I feel like SBF has to be, but that was a really good bite on the platform, conditioning him not to think, not to try and school up there. Mm. Oh, this 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 match seems to be battle of the I nair your shield and <laughs> you nair. Right. There's a lot of nairing going on. <laughs> Ooh. SBF goes for the edge guard. Doesn't quite get it off, and now we're back into the neutral. But SBF sitting at a percent that could be described as kill percent to maybe a hard read at the ledge, especially now. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's, um, Bowser Jimmy is hungry for the jab. That's why I'm throwing out, hoping he'd roll. Oh, wow. De dead his shield and dead to sit there in place for just a second. Get him, Sam. Whoa. That's Whoa. what I said. Get him, Sam. Get down there, there we go. There's that first stop gone. And he now he just walked yes. with a half walk. Oh, I think he it? dared him. Oh, he dared him. Okay, I just saw the, the cloud. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be that. Yeah, that angle is so cursed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there was confusion with the down. You're right. Yeah. Hot dodge from SBF gets himself out of the situation, and there goes the walk. It's on there. But we're not we're not sitting at that kind of percent just yet either. So uh, he's got a fair bit to go. He's at thirty four percent. Wasn't able to connect it into anything else. Not enough hit stun on that move to connect oh it. Oh my god! Get out of there, Snowmander. This is a dangerous place to be in. <laughs> yeah, this is not a very good. This is not a place where you want to be close to Warriors, Normander. Choosing to jump cancel that car out of out of uh, on top of SBF shield. Oh, this is okay. Snowmander is holding back. Scary situation. You don't want to be. You don't want. Um, you don't want to be two stops behind. Yeah. This is. We are about to see. Oh my god! There goes down throw. No, not able to get a tech chase on that. Oh, we are about to see the most passive Bowser Jr. play you have ever seen. Yes. Okay. There we go. Very, very. Z caught. Z catching aerials. Not commit. Not even committing to throwing projectiles. That. Up until, and he missed, did he miss it or did he get the, he got the top hitbox of it? I think he got straight a up. hitbox of some kind, I'm not an expert on Warrior. Yeah. So on, on Waft there is a, a hitbox that exists right on the top, that's, that sends you directly up. Mm -hmm. if, I, if my, if my Wario research is correct. He almost got back there, it was so close. Ooh, the bike disrupting oh, that recovery and he chooses to make that up be beefy. Mix up from the ledge, very clever. Oh, this could be this could be saving saving a stock. There goes dash attacks. Oh Does my it? goodness. That took the stock. That is uh that was he had a lot of percent, he had a lot of damage. From Downtown. Yeah, he was on like 120%, if I remember correctly. Uh, I just didn't expect it to take the stock all the way from there, unless unless he was holding a Mecha Cooper and it exploded in the blast zone. Mm. That, as a Toon Link main, I know that pain. <laughs> well, I am shocked, frankly, that Germany is behind two stocks. How could this have happened? <laughs> We've got all the best players. I'll, I'll tell you how. UK is godlike! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We we still haven't seen quick, you know. We still haven't seen the the. Uh, we had light, but we haven't seen the the the, the top five here in in the PR. Speaking of top five and people that you have in your squad, where on earth is Tarek? Tarek, I don't know. I don't oh. know who decides who joins these things. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm not holding you accountable for who could and couldn't make the I European feel... Smash Crew Invitational. Personally, who can, <laughs> who can, who can, uh, who's not coming in to do their bit to, uh, to 
to take the first occasion of the what will be a future prestigious yearly event. I'm sure of it. I'm sure this is going to catch on because this has been so much fun so far. <laughs> yeah, I hope it comes back. It's a great idea. It's um, it, we need it because Europe is, at, you know, like then Europe can be like the new America. Yeah, it's, you know, oh, you come to any of our states and find excellent players. So I'm I'm down for stuff like this. Oh, Europe! Listen, like Europe in a sense, there's no better place in the world to hold a crew battle tournament because yeah, the, there are right. hard borders separating the players on these teams. There are hard borders and language barriers. Yeah, like this, nothing creates tribalism, and that's what we feed off. We feed off that toxic tribalism. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. No toxicity. No <laughs> toxicity. I'm telling. Like Father Itano is telling you all, be nice. <laughs> I thought about like being a bit more rude to the UK, but I'm British. <laughs> so I can't quite bring myself to do it. <laughs> Listen, you chose you chose your side when you when you got on that plane. I know, but well, I'm just gonna be super positive about Germany, and I just can't not because these players are so good. And every time I've ever seen them or played against them, they have absolutely just taken me apart. So I have oh yeah, but these guys. That that generally tends to happen when they play anybody. So don't hold yourself to uh, too too high of, a, of an account there. You're nothing special. Everyone gets destroyed by quick. <laughs> so uh, taking a look at who Germany has to draw from. So you've got a uh, Reno in there as well, who doesn't appear in your in your top twelve. Does he not? I know. Reno, so good. Lucky does. Uh, lucky, lucky does. I was surprised Reno, Reno does uh, as well. I've, um, I, I, because I've seen Reno play and they're, a mon they're somewhat of a monster. I would say if he's not PR now, he's, then he is now. You know, like, there's, there's no doubt about it. Like, he's crazy. Um, so coming in for you guys, you've also, you could, you could elect to send Robin GG in. Yeah, um, I reckon I he's good against Wario. So the gimp, the low gimp ability that you've oh, sent in quick. Oh, you've sent in quick. This is the end, guys. This is the end. I hope you enjoyed your your small rain, UK. Because it's about to finish. Well, you sounded like a you sound like a comic book villain when you say that. I, I realised it when I was a little too late. <laughs> I don't know. I like. I like it. I, uh, embrace the yeah. embrace the character. Yeah, um, oh, oh, this damage. is a lot of damage already. This is a lot of damage. Quick, relentless, going straight in. Best movement in the continent when it comes I to this agree. character. Um, wave bounce, the reverse charge shot, all of that good stuff. Mm, makes it, it makes his Samus look so clean. SBF trying to get some offense started. He, uh, but the point is, like, sometimes being so scared of Quick, he's too far away to get the punish when Quick does whiff and up B like that. Mm. There we go. Clap, clap, oh. up tilt, clap, not able to get a conversion. No. Okay. But I think Quick is in control here. Dash attack against dash attack and Quick's win. Yeah, that Samus, that Samus dash attack is, uh, has, been, has been degenerate for quite some time. <laughs> it's, nothing, it's nothing new. All right. Well, now Samus is uh, like Samus started off pretty aggressive with that crazy combo, but now we're hanging back and zaring. I've just remembered something, and I'm I feel like an idiot for getting it. Like nobody on the nobody on the German squad is going to have as much Wario experience as Quick. You're so right. <laughs> like if you go to a European major and Quick didn't play Glutiny, like <laughs> the best player in Europe. Yeah. Like, did you really go to a European major? <laughs> so, they are come on, SPF. SPF just needs to get this stock off. Just an SPF needs to get this stock off. Stall him out till Woff comes if you have to. Play that. Give me that dirty nonsense. <laughs> I think Quick's going to take it. 94. Yeah. He might get a back air or something, but... He's got to He's got to recover first. He's got to get He's got to get back onto right. the stage. Right. Show some respect. Actually, there's a lot of close calls here, but that charge sort is a bit of a... Uh, it's going to turn the tides, I think. Ooh! There's the forward throw. SBF going off, maybe looking for a back air. Has to settle for some down tilt pressure at the Ooh. ledge, chasing quick across the stage. Ooh. Oh my gosh, no punish on the up B. 
Yeah, he, he's at that awkward stage where he feels like he can let the WAP rip to take... He can let the WAP rip, sorry, mm -hmm. um, to take this stock now. But he man if he manages to take the stock with... Uh, with anything but the what another stock is on the card so he's got to make a he's got to make a gamble with it yeah i mean if i were him i would i would be willing to throw it out like just go go for the one stock <gasps> no there's down tilt into dash attack and now things are starting to look really nasty for quick if quick doesn't get this stock off soon he could be staring down the barrel of another unnecessary stock lost at the hands of the great sbf <laughs> all right back to zoning i think back to zare back to bomb Back to dash backs until he sees that opening, the magic opening, which will get him the kill. Ooh. Uncharged dash attack. One thing I'm noticing a lot about Quick right now is that he is not committing to shielding at almost any point for long enough because he's no. noticed that in the previous game that SDF is not afraid to go to that command grab. You're so right. Oh no, oh, no. no. Oh, he oh, goes with the weight. So oh. I think he gave him the air dodge as well. And SBF falls into a charge shot. The opportunity to take another stop was there for SBF. That was dangerous, Quick. You need to have a think about what's going on because you, this this one this one read where he tried to get the up tilt on the platform that could have been Quick. Another Quick stop would have been very dangerous. Yeah, he. The thing is, he had the read as well. Just there, uh, just the commitment. Just the commitment was lacking. Oh, scary, scary stuff. All right. Who are you going to send against number two in Europe, mate? I've been thinking about this for a while. <laughs> I've been thinking about this for a while. I, don't think I would send in, send in my boy, Rambos. Right. That's send in yeah, my boy, Rambos. Send him in and let him damage the German mentality, the German morale, beyond beyond any repair. <laughs> send him in and, and, and have him rise, have him rise that status to the greatest Samus in Europe. That would be scary. There's a lot of pressure on you. Like, <laughs> imagine getting bopped and then, uh-oh. You lost your two stock. You lost your three stocks, and he and Quick still had two. I, I say send him. I, I say send him in. Send send him in and let him let him prove himself. He has been doing nothing but prove himself, going up and up and up and up ever since this game came out. He's another player, much like Jaxter, who who rose up, who rose up like as uh, in the ultimate age, and he's just been. It's just been a non-stop up right. curve for this player. Okay. And well. And well you can say what you like, you can rise as much as you like, but Quick is already on top. <laughs> and I don't think he's gonna he's gonna be able to take those two stocks. I just I just don't think so. I think Quick knows Samus so much. I mean obviously Rambo says too. But oh it wasn't gonna be okay. Oh I don't think this is a good choice. We've sent him Moat. Respect to Moat. Why so? Because I reckon Quick knows how to deal with Wi-Fi zoners. Wi-Fi zoners and banjo. Let's talk about. Let's unpack that for a second. <laughs> like Wi-Fi zoners and banjo. Like, oh, good read for. I love that up the throw there from Mo. Um, so you've got a Wi-Fi zoner who also has one of the best zone breaking tools in the game. Like you've got that Wonder Wing. Quick has to deal with 15 Wonder Wings if he's if he's going to take all three of these stocks that is three, that is 15 charge shots tanked for are you gonna <laughs> count down every wonder wing <laughs> every wonder wing attempt <laughs> every wonder wing attempt and by the way at the ledge that's death of course of course well quick is unafraid to stay at the other side of the stage look he's just hard like, read just... wonder wing number one that it was the weak hit of the wonder wing because quick was so far away like he is just gonna stay look, wonder wing stay. number two He's just burning these Wonder Wings. He wants this character gone. And there's an F smash. If that stock goes, we're at Germany are in trouble. That is, you're right. Germany is in big trouble if, if, if Quick loses the first stock. <gasps> Wonder Wing number four. Oh my god, he's just throwing out those Wonder Wings like there's no tomorrow. I take it back. That Wi Fi zone thing, I take it back. <laughs> the best zone breaking tool in the game. And it's hard to, you, you've got to be ready for it. It's like, it's almost in this situation, it's almost like a better version of Flare Blitz. Yeah. Oh and that's his final Wonder Wing, I think. He managed to get through all of those crazy traps that Quick put on the ledge. The Yo, let's go. Let's go, Mike. 
He's putting putting Quick over to one side of the stage, creating some pressure with the up air. Another up air, another Wonder Wing. Quick, you gotta go stop getting hit by these Wonder Wings. That was the fi that was the final Wonder Wing. This Unless is he's critical. <laughs> oh, Moke chose to air dodge straight back onto stage. Oh my gosh. Quick, he just needs like one, what was it, an up throw might kill? I don't know. Up throw oh. won't kill at this percent, I don't believe. Not Banjo, at least. Banjo is just going ham. He's being super aggressive. Oh, oh. Just that dash attack almost. <laughs> oh there we God. go, there's the charge shot. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> This to main, but Moke has to take this stock at 101. There we go, quick. Finally, respecting the Wonder Wing. Yeah, but that means that means he's respecting it now, and that's yeah. something that Moke can play on. Catches him with another Wonder Wing. Oh my God! Quick, you're, you're giving me a heart attack. Quick wants out. Ah, he's just throwing out Wonder Wing like there's no tomorrow. Because he can afford to. You're right. It's the it's the end, isn't it? He's still got how many Wonder Wings left? <laughs> yeah, he can hard punish one if if. If Moke does one more reckless Wonder Wing, yeah. there's a there's a charge shot yeah. never coming. Okay. He is really just. Oh, it could come at any second. Oh my god! Every time. There it comes. So, Quick is now being forced to play a lot more defensively. He ne he feels like in the crew battle meta, this taking this stock safely is more important than uh than committing. Oh, for sure. He has to take another stock after this. Yes, he does. But uh, don't forget, uh, Samus yeah. does have ways to, uh, to to take stocks early. You are right. Okay. And there goes the stock. This is a, that was important. For, oh, oh my God, he almost died. <gasps> oh, hit. Oh, he got hit by a million Wonder Wings. I counted something like eight. I counted something like eight Wonder Wings. <laughs> like that was eight, nine. Like uh, that was something like a something like a seventy, seventy-five percent success rate. I had such faith. I had Great such stuff. faith. Oh my gosh. Great stuff from Moke right there. Doing exactly what the team needed him to do. Taking two stocks off of Quick. Like exactly when we needed needed him to do it as well. So that is that is Germany's ace in the hole, sort of taken care of, and Germany sitting on Germany sitting on six stocks remaining. No, three stocks remaining. Three. Is, they've only got one person left, right? Oh my yeah, man. three stocks remaining. UK on four, one stock deficit for the German team. I have no idea. Like, who do you send in? Who do you send in after that? Uh, my guess would be either Longo or Saev. Mm -hmm. Longo, uh, Longo or Saev. However, a smarter person who knows the German scene better than I do might right. recommend Rob. Might be able to convince me that Robin GG is coming. <laughs> I love Robin GG, but I don't know if Peach is the answer. Like, um, she gets zoned out pretty hard. I reckon. This is true. However, you've got to consider that Peach has to get through one stock of that hard zoning of banjos, and then you want to deal with. Uh, then you Peach has to deal with yeah. exactly. Now, yeah. if you do send him Robin GG, I say you speaking on behalf of the German team. If you do <laughs> send him Robin GG, my very first pick of who to send him from the UK to mm -hmm. clean up that final set of stocks would be Nades. Um, I personally believe I personally believe that uh Nade that Toon Link like absolutely runs through the Peach matchup. Interesting. I um, reckon it's not going to be Robin GG. I, um I think it, it has to be someone else who can deal with projectiles better. The honestly. um the chat is calling for Takeo. Takeo pretty really. hard. Pretty Takeo hard. Is really good. He wins tournaments. He wins Wi-Fi tournaments, I think. Um, okay. Yeah, like he is not to be played around with. That Ike is serious business. Well, we'll find out soon enough. We um, will. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say at the at the at the point where the UK is at a one stock surplus, mm -hmm. I would like to take this opportunity to say into the stream It's coming home, lads. Stay <laughs> right there. Don't go anywhere. It's coming home. Oh man. Um Let's see who it is. It is Robin GG. It's um, Robin. Let's see. It's Robin. I have and faith. This means Peach is going to have to float her way through an absolute sea of projectiles and survive and survive at least five, five Wonder, Wonder Wings. Wings. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like 
99 bottles of beer on the wall. We can we can sing them down if you want. <laughs> All right, let's let's see what happens. Okay. Immediately it says no to that down air on shield. Oh my god, the first wonder win already. I just. Oh my god. Smoke makes me. It's gonna give me a heart attack, honestly. Yeah. Makes you very nervous because you have to. He forces you to respect it. Mm. Uh, he went up to challenge that peach dare with an up air, just not enough disjoint, apparently. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, he is. Uh, Robin GG has thrown out like four down airs on his shield and has got punished for it four times. Oh my god. <laughs> He made such a hard call out right there. Moke going in straight up with that forward smash read. Knew exactly where Robin GG was going to go. Moke has Moke has given the UK team its money's worth already right now. UK straight back to a deficit. Oh my god, this is oh. not looking good for Germany at all. That grenade fake out from from Moke really mm. solid. Oh, I couldn't feel. He was going for a very thirsty fair. Oh, opportunity? No. Nope. Okay, bad one wing. Doesn't pay for it. Come on, Moke. One more, one more stop to take here, and you've given the final UK player uh, a victory lap. Oh, gosh. There we go. He was coming in with the fair. Oh, he read that. He read that Wonder Wing. He had the counter ready too. Yeah, counter would have done nothing. Oh, there we go. Forward air. That's Oof. scary. We are uh, stocked down. That is not a good place to be. But Robin GG can do it because Peach is top tier. Robin GG is amazing. Germany's got this in the bag. Just give us your worst. Give us our, give us our, no, we're, there is, there is no worst. There is only best. There is only best coming from the Wi-Fi nation. Oh. <laughs> coming from the Wi-Fi. I, I dub us the Wi-Fi nation. We could send in, we could I feel like we can send in anybody left at our disposal. We've got, <laughs> we've... So, uh, Curry went in first, uh, eliminated, uh, SBF second, eliminated. Uh, Dion has been dealt with, Moke has been dealt with. We've still got Bloom, Ramboss, Alpha, uh, Nades, and Jaxter to choose from. Okay. And uh, Lucrecio. We've got, actually, we've got Lucrecio. How have we not mentioned top player Lucrecio right now? He's a top player. <laughs> um, I would say Lucrecio, I would recommend Lucrecio or Nades. Um, However, I do happen to know that the last time I saw Nades play a Peach, he lost, but I feel like that was due to matchup inexperience. And the other player he played against had a lot of Toon Link experience. Um, you guys in Germany do have do have Sooner, am I right? Uh, we have Sooner, but he has stopped playing, I believe. He hasn't been active for the past uh, year or so. So uh, Toon Link is definitely missing. Yeah. Okay, so we have Luc we have Lucrecio for the Twitter combos. If that's how we want to round this out, we also have uh, we also have Toon Link to uh, we have Nades' Toon Link to see this out in the tri tried and tested UK crew battle style. Mm -hmm. um, Alpha is a player. Actually, I, I have to admit this, and shame on my behalf. I don't know a great deal about Alpha, but I'm sure they are Alpha. <laughs> That's very kind. <laughs> so I, like the, on the... I like the tag, number one. <laughs> of course, of course. Oh, one more, one more thing. Our graphic, I believe, is currently incorrect because also on our squad we have uh, filling in. We have burning in place of one of these players, I believe. I think it might be for Alpha. So burning, bringing that duck hunt, um, duck hunt and ice climbers. Sick, what a combo. I love Duck Hunt with all my heart. I, I love this character. I have such respect for Duck Hunt players. I, I would love it. I reckon Peach bops Duck Hunt though. Just dare right through the gunman. <laughs> um, just, just just float over Pigeon, dare through gunman. I, have, I personally, um, I think we've got a lot of favorable matchups coming in for us in this situation. Uh, Lucrecio, and Na Lucrecio or Nades would be my pick. Um, I reckon Peach Bob's Rob as well. You, if, if you if you think so, um, I I seem to remember Lucrecio has do, do, uh, does very well against Peach, I believe. Okay, Lucrecio does do pretty well against Peach. He had a very very positive showing against Meru back in back at Albion too. Mm -hmm. Different game, of course, but you you have to take into consideration that both of these characters have a lot of similarities to their previous iterations. I've been told in the chat Peach does not bop Rob. Soz, I don't know anything about this game. <laughs> it's just it's just who can spawn items the fastest. Right. Takes this, right. take takes this one. Um so Pete, the thing about the thing about Peach and Rob is uh if they send in Lucrecio, 
Robin GG all of a sudden loses the ability to just sit and sit and float halfway across the stage because you can't react to Rob Laser. Mm -hmm. You just can't, especially on Wi-Fi. You just can't react to it. So yeah. every time, every time, uh, and Lucrecio is the kind of player who watches for those habits and studies matchups, uh, studies them very studiously. Shall I say? Yeah. So Peach is going. So Peach is going to sit there and try and float across from Rob, and get hit by get hit by laser. And in that time, Lucrecio will use that time to to spin up his gyro, and then neutral becomes his. All right, I'm convinced. Yeah, Rob's probably really good against Peach. I, sorry for for suggesting Lucrecio would would burn in burn in ashes. There's <laughs> also there is also the uh, there's also the possibility of Jackster. Uh, Peach being floaty, I don't know how that affects her ability to uh, skip the cutscene that Jaxter puts you into up after an up tilt. Oh, yeah, that's up. We've gone, we've gone Bloom. I uh, totally forgot about Bloom. Bloom, cool. We've sent, sent in Bloom to bring it home. What a shout out to Robin GG's excellent SD just then. Very, very good. Why are we on Lila? Who decided this? Bloom's got the job of clutching everything out. A Bayonetta on the team, applying that shield pressure. Nair gets shield grabbed. And Bloom at 85%. Oh, what a bait on that counter. That and here comes the pain. It can work against Bayonetta at B. So I think that's what it was going for. Again, didn't work out this time. Gets yeah, I'm not yeah. so happy about it, but Bayonetta. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Bloom's now at the kind of percent where he can start fishing for that witch time. Robin yeah. falls out of falls out of the other uh, the Bayo combo. So close. Oh, oh, and there comes the bait, and we are down to our final German stock of the event. Robin GG with a mountain to climb right now does need to get the stock on this bayonet. It gets it right there with that F order. Okay, gosh, this is it. Final stock for Germany. I reckon he can do it. I reckon he can take two stocks. Peach is very explosive. It's not out. I will say this one thing. I'm meant to be biased, but it is not outside the realm of possibility. <laughs> You're meant to be biased. Um, I am shamelessly biased here. Oh, I love that um, down air to Peach Bomber. Shield, both hits of the dash attack. Doesn't get the punish, however. Applying pressure to that shield. Oh, this is scary. Bloom so busted. Blue, this is Bloom is a player that I haven't spoken about enough in this. Bloom is a UK player forged in the fires of Wi-Fi, as I've said about really? or seven times. Yeah, uh, oh, Bloom was a crazy Wi-Fi warrior. Yes, Bloom is a uh, Bloom was a hidden boss that I think just showed up to I think showed up to an Arcadian and bodied a whole bunch of people that he should not have like nobody expected him to body, yeah. and I think got got top eight with like Pokemon Trainer and Piranha Plant. With Barabla? Yes. Love Barabla. Okay, this oh, okay. is close. Um, there was a very scary forward air from Pete. Oh god, that was a oh. terrified toad. That was up smash a clock. Yeah. Oh, this could be the end. Oh, at the, the taunt. The taunts again. And the up smash of the ledge taunts three times! Taunts three times into the hard up smash. Bloom forever, you are such a madman. <laughs> How do you do you fall into that, Robin? No! It's coming home, lads! It's coming home! UK uh, go through to the final! I don't believe it. I can't believe UK made it over Germany. We had the perfect team! <laughs> huge upsets! Huge upsets coming through from the UK. The UK with that Wi-Fi degeneracy throwing in the sleeper bayonet right at the end. I can't believe the bayonet took it home on Lila. What the hell? <laughs> bayonet, yeah. I, I want to call. I want to shout out to. I want to shout out to. Um, I want to shout out to the two amazing conditioning baits that Blue made out so early in that game. He stalled his recovery to let Robin think that he was a, that he wasn't ready for the the counter at ledge. And Bloom knows this matchup apparently very well. <laughs> that was really good. I think Bloom knew what they were doing. Like that was. So confident in that last game. Uh, it was a really good showing from the UK. Congrats, guys. I can't be oh, upset. I am so I am so glad. This uh, that that is uh, that has put me in such a good mood for the rest of. <laughs> this is a fantastic Sunday. The rain stopped outside. <laughs> like so the rain stopped outside. Lockdown is slowly being eased in the UK, and yeah. the UK and and Smash Brothers is coming home. Let me see those coming homes in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Let me let me let me breathe it all in. I want it. I want all the degeneracy. We're going to the finals.
Well, all I'll say is, mate, see us offline. Well, it has been an absolute pleasure. It has been an absolute pleasure. You guys can catch the third place playoff. Um, uh, congratulations, by the way, to the German team. You guys have done really well. Uh, and uh, thanks for joining me today, uh, Brexit, as well. Um, okay. I really enjoyed it. That's, it's been a pleasure. Uh, it's been a pleasure. The uh, you guys have been um, you guys have been great as well. Um, you can catch the third place playoff at um, six o'clock UTC. Um, so that will be now. so. That is like now. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I um, think it's next. If it's coming up very soon, so uh, right after this, and that will feature Germany and the loser of France, Netherlands. Um, so uh, you can catch it then. I've been Atano Circus, been joined by Brexit. I've been Brexit. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, and stay safe out there, guys. See you guys in the finals, which I'll be casting with Fausta. So keep it locked. See you later. Bye-bye.